Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Proverbs 30, beginning in verse 29. There be three things which go well, yea, four are comely in going, a lion, which is strongest among beasts, and turneth not away for any, a greyhound, an he-goat also, and a king against whom there is no rising up. These three creatures, the king, I should say these three creatures and the king, picture wise and orderly behavior, and in that sense, They are like the Lord God, who is all-wise and all-orderly. When one follows the pattern of behavior that is set by Almighty God, they're going to be dignified, and they will display confidence. Like that lion. No one is more dignified, no one is more confident than the Christian who is filled with the Holy Ghost. There is a quiet confidence and a quiet dignity that is seen in them. 32. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself, or if thou hast thought evil, lay thine hand upon thy mouth. God says that those who exalt themselves are acting like fools. God has talked about this several times in the book of Proverbs, boasting, bragging, They are sins, even though they are acceptable today. Boasting and bragging are sins, at least in part because they steal attention and credit away from God, who has given them everything that they have or anything that they can do. And it steals the attention away from God, who rightly deserves the credit for it and for anything that you can do. And it puts that attention on self, if you take credit for what you can do or what, what you have, then God says you are acting like a fool. You're overlooking what he has done for you. If you take credit for what you can do or what you have, God says you act, you're acting like a fool. God is the only reason that you can do anything. He's the only reason that you have anything. Boasting gives credit to the creature, namely self, rather than the creator, from whom all good things come, the Bible says. The Bible says when pride comes, then comes disgrace. God's not going to allow people to steal the glory that belongs to him and let them get away with it. God says, I am the Lord. My glory I will, sh- I will not share with anyone else. 33. Surely the churning of milk bringeth forth butter, the wringing of the nose bringeth forth blood, so the forcing of wrath bringeth forth strife. All three of these things illustrate that the law of cause and effect is built right into God's creation, and you cannot get away from it. No one should think that they can do something foolish and escape the consequences of their foolishness. Christian or not, there are natural consequences to everything. And foolishness, sinfulness, which is what foolishness is, comes fully loaded with its own terrible consequences. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Four complete series going on five for you to choose, click, and listen. If you would like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse. Pray for me and God's Word. That makes you an immediate part of this ministry. And also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead, because that also will make you a part of this ministry. And I'd appreciate it, and I appreciate you studying with me. I know you love God. I know you love his word or you wouldn't be studying with me. Until next time, so long.